Hi everyone, Ishpreet here. Welcome back to Slick and Natty. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an explosion box or an exploding box. Explosion box is a fun and creative way to express your love to someone in a very personalized way. When the lid of the box is removed, it literally spills out to reveal multiple layers with plethora of messages, pictures, gifts, cards and whatever else you put inside it and hence it is called an explosion box. Now there are endless ways of making an exploding box but in this video I will be showing you my version of it and I will be doing this video in two parts. In the first part I will be showing you how to make the basic structure of an explosion box whereas in part two I will show you how to decorate the box and how to make different things like an origami box, a waterfall card etc which can be put inside the explosion box. So let's start with part one. For this you will need about 5 sheets of a chart paper. I have taken black sheets because black is the base color of my explosion box. You can obviously take whichever color you want as the base color. An explosion box has multiple layers. I am here making a 4 layer box and I will explain to you how each layer is to be made. First let's move on to layer 1 which is the outermost layer. For this cut out a 54 cm into 54 cm square piece from one of the black chart papers and divide it into 9 squares of size 18 into 18 cm each like this and now cut away and remove the 4 corner squares. Now I have cut out 4 square sheets from a red velvet paper. The size of this sheet is same as that of black square which is 18 into 18 cm. Stick these red sheets on each of the four corner black squares. This will be the outer side of layer 1 and for the inner side I have cut out four sheets from red chart paper. The size of these sheets will be a little smaller than the black boxes so that a little bit of black margin will be visible when these are stuck on the black paper. So like done before stick each of these sheets on each of the four outer black boxes. The basic structure of layer 1 is now ready. Now let's proceed to layer number 2. For this you have to cut out a square sheet of size 48 into 48 cm and divide it into 9 squares of size 16 into 16 cm each. The cutting in layer 2 will however be a little different from that of layer 1 as we will be cutting only along the lines that I have highlighted in white. Like this. Now fold each of these corner boxes inwards like this so that they cover the adjacent box like a flap. Repeat this with all the four boxes so that it looks like this. Now cut four square sheets from any colored or printed paper of your choice which you can get easily from your nearby stationery or craft shop. Again, the size of these sheets should be a little smaller than the black boxes so that a little black is visible from the sides. So stick these sheets on each of the four outer boxes with the help of a recall. Next, take a punching machine and punch holes in the center of the edge from where the flap is lifting up. Make sure that you punch through both the outer and the inner sheets. Repeat this on all the four boxes. Take a ribbon of your choice cut two strips from it and tie a triple knot at the end of each of these strips. Pass these two ribbon strips through the two punched holes like this. Take printouts of any of your eight favorite pictures in the size 14 into 14 cm. Open the flap and stick two pictures on the inside like this. Repeat this for all the four outer boxes so that you get a collage like this. Finally, close the flaps and tie the two ribbons in a bow like this. Layer 2 is ready and now let's move on to layer number 3. For this, cut out a square sheet of size 42 into 42 cm and divide it into 9 squares of size 14 into 14 cm each. Cut along the lines which are highlighted in white just as we had done in layer number 2. Also fold these in the same way as we had done in layer number 2. The only difference from layer 2 is that we have to stick the panel on the inside box. For this apply Fevicol only on two edges and not on the outer edge so that a pocket is formed which is open on the outer side. Repeat this for the other three boxes as well. So we have now got four pockets with their openings facing outwards like this. 
Next, cut out four square sheets from black chart paper. Their size should be a little smaller than the boxes so that they can be inserted into the pocket like this. Cut out four square sheets from colored papers of your choice and stick these on the black sheets. Their size should be a little smaller than the black square so that a little margin is visible on the sides. Punch a hole in the center of one of the edges of each of these four sheets. The colored side is for writing a message like a birthday wish etc and the black side is for attaching a photograph. Pass a ribbon strip through the punched hole and tie it into a bow like this. Repeat this with all the four sheets. Now insert these cards in the pockets of layer number 3 like this. Finally cut out four square sheets from a colored paper of your choice and stick these on the faces of the four outer boxes like this. Again the size should be a little smaller than the box so that a little margin is visible on the sides. Layer 3 is now ready and it's now time to move on to layer number 4 which is the inner box. For this cut out a square sheet of the size 36 into 36 cm and divide it into 9 squares of size 12 into 12 cm each. In each of the four corner boxes draw a line which is at a distance of 1 cm from the inner line. We now have to cut along these lines, like this, repeat this in all the four corner boxes and then cut a notch along these lines so that the side strip can be raised like this, repeat this on all the four sides. Again cut out four square sheets from a paper of your choice and stick these on the back side of the four outer squares. Turn around the sheet, put some glue on the side strips that we had cut out and stick these to the adjacent squares like this to form a box. Take a clothes pin and attach it at the joint so that it stays in place. Repeat these steps on all the four corners. Leave the box like this for some time so that the adhesive dries up. Then remove the pins and the box is ready. Now we will make the lid of the box for this cut out a square sheet of size 18.5 into 18.5 cm and then draw this figure on it. Cut out and remove these side rectangles like this from all the four corners. And then cut along these lines so that the side strip can be raised like this. Repeat this on all the four sides. Turn this sheet around, cut out four rectangular strips from a colored paper of your choice and stick these on the side rectangles like this. After this again flip the lid around and put some adhesive on the side strips that we had cut out and attach this to the side rectangle like this. And attach a clothespin on the joint just like we are done for the box. Repeat these steps for all the four corners. Leave the lid for drying, remove the pins and the lid is ready. Decorate this lid which I'll tell you about in part 2 and fill the box with gifts of your choice. Finally, we have to make the outer lid which will go over the entire explosion box. This will be made in exactly the same way as the inner lid except that the dimensions will be as per this figure. This was the basic structure of the different layers of explosion box but we also have to make various cards, boxes etc which will be attached to these layers and finally these layers will be attached to each other like this and closed with the outer lid. All this I'll be showing you in part 2 of this video so stay tuned for it. Do subscribe to my channel and connect with me on my Instagram account which is Slick and Natty. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.